So in this video, we'll see how to use uh, Zebra Setup Utilities uh, from Windows uh, for sending the PRN files you created uh, from Zebra Designer and also to configure the printer's uh, interface uh, like uh, Ethernet, uh, Wireless and Bluetooth. Okay, so let's go. So here is uh, my uh, Zebra Setup Utilities. So you should have installed Zebra Setup Utilities already. If not, you can download it from our support and downloads page from zebra.com. So let me start Zebra Setup Utilities. So I have the T610 203 DPA on the top. You can see the printer. So this is my printer. Okay. And it's currently in the ready status. It's communicated via USB to this PC. So let's select this printer and you go to open printer tools. So now to send the PRN files. Okay, so I'll show the PRN file where it is. Um, so this is the PRN file that I'll be sending to the printer. So this 4 by 2 dot PRN, which is already created by a Zebra designer. So now to send this to the printer, uh, this is we, what I did was again I repeated. I select this printer, we go to open printer tools. Okay, so now go to action. So last but option is send file. So below you have this option. Once you click the send file, select the browse button. And then on the desktop from this folder, I have saved this file. So select that file by double clicking it. And all you have to do is just do a send file and it will be executed by the printer. Okay, so simple. So this is how you send the uh, the PRN files you created to the printer. Okay. So then now the next part is uh, to show you how to uh, uh, send it to the uh, the latest drivers. Okay. The one that you saw right now is actually the old version of the driver. So if you have downloaded and installed the latest driver, see the send file option will be completely different. So I select another driver. So this is the latest version of a driver. So you go to open printer tools, same select, I selected the driver and I go to open printer tools now. So how you, the, the look and feel on the new driver is completely different. Okay. So here uh, people have been struggling to find the tools button. So all you have to do is come to settings and here is the send file option down below. The so same way you just have to browse, click the browse button, select the PRN file and click the send. It will go to the printer. Okay, so this is how the PRN file is uh, sent to the printer for testing purpose and all. So whatever alignment and all you have to do, you can do it and then test it before it is integrated into the software. So now let's uh, see how to configure the network on the printer. So as you can see on the top, uh, the, the uh, printer's network indicator is showing in a red color. So that means the printer is not connected as of now. So either wired or wireless. Okay. And the printer is also showing an alert on the screen saying country code not selected. So this can also come if someone has uh, uh, sent a wrong parameters to the printer and uh, while, while configuring he has not uh, selected the country code on the printer. This can come up. Okay. So once we configure the wireless properly, that error should go up. And also the red LED of the network should come back to green. Okay. So let's select the printer. My active printer is 610 selected and we'll go to configure printer connectivity. The list of menus that we have on the below. Okay. So configure printer connectivity. You have wired, wireless or Bluetooth as the option. So for us, I have to configure wireless. So select wireless. The same option is what you go through the wired also. Only thing is a wireless wired one, you will not configure the SSID parameter. Only the IP network, IP related settings you will be giving. So wireless, next. And I want to configure a static IP. So before configuring wireless parameters, uh, do note what is the uh, AP settings, your wireless AP settings uh, is currently having. So I just made, made a note of it. The same way you also make a note of it and then start configuring the network. The thing to note is that the SSID is case sensitive. Okay. So if your network is showing as 224 uh, with a small D link, you have to enter the same way to the printer's parameter also. Otherwise, the printer will not get connected. Okay. So my network is uh, 
all all are in upper case so no worries for me okay so uh, the first one what you get on the uh, the static option is the configuring the host name for the printer so if you want you can put an host name to the printer otherwise you can leave it blank not a necessity you can uh, so i am putting z610 as my host name why this is required is sometimes uh, there is application where uh, the application will call the printer by name rather than an ip okay so for such scenarios you have to put a name to the printer all right so i'll just put my ip address so whatever i configured um, 0.233 is going to maybe my static ip and 222550 is the subnet mask and uh, gateway is 0.21 sorry about that so 192.168.0.1 .1. so always do cross check because any parameters are done wrongly over here it will go to the printer and you will have to again redo the whole step so next is uh, your band so this you have to be careful what is the band that your uh, access point is on you have to configure the same way to the printer as well so you have multiple options here so my network ap is uh, bgn 2.4 gigahertz so i select this so all these inter mean these are all network related parameter so your it team has to give all these um, settings to you so based on that only you can configure on the printer so wrong settings the printer will not connected to the get connected to the network and uh, you will be wondering whether it's issue with the printer or on the network whatever it is you have to do a cross check with the it team what is the correct parameter to be set on to the printer so this is where the country code is selected so that is why the printer is showing uh, uh, what is the uh, error on the printer as a country code not selected right so because of this only so you select the proper country that the printer is on so right now i am in india so i select the india as the country code and then the channel list is an optional parameter so whatever is the channel uh, that the um, the printer is supposed to get connected to the ap you have to select that particular channel otherwise you can leave it uh, blank the printer will automatically get connected to the channel so ssid so this is what i told this is case sensitive so as the uh, ap is broadcasting select uh, put the in input the uh, information over here exactly what it is broadcasting okay so security is wpa to psk you have multiple security options here so as the uh, network uh, you are on select that particular security mode so minus wpa to psk so i select that say next and then it will ask for the pass key so put it in string and then enter the pass key Okay. So any mistake done here, printer will not get connected after restart. It will still be in red status. Okay. So now the last option is next. So you have this the script being shown here. So this is what the uh, printer will be. The utility will send it to the printer. Okay. So just displaying, and then you have an option either to send it to the printer or you can select it uh, as a file and then save it. And then that can be mailed to someone or it can be archived for that uh, for a future uh, cross checking purpose or to future uh, restating the printer to the uh, the current or whatever the configuration you have set it on for such purpose you can give a name to the file and save it and then archive it and keep it across so for this uh, video purpose i just selected to the select it as a printer so it directly all this parameter all this parameter will directly go to the printer so click finish so it goes to the printer and the printer will restart automatically as you can see on the lc so once restarted the printer should get connected to the network so what i do is i'll just uh, uh, let the printer restart so in the meanwhile i'll open one command window and whatever the ip we set on the printer let us start at try pinging on it okay so now the printer's icon should come back to green so uh, the ip i set on the printer was 0 0.233233 so let's ping it so now we can see the printer is pinging on the network okay so obviously the printer is connected to the wireless network 
Okay, so this is how you configure uh, the printer with Zebra setup utilities. So I showed both uh, uh, configuring the printer for a network and also how to uh, send the PR and file to the printer directly. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching the video.